Hi, my name is Josh Oliver from Zenata Consulting. In this video, I'll be discussing lookup fields and their usage in Zoho Creator. I will explain the concept of lookup fields, explain how to create them, and give you practical applications for their use. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of lookup fields and how to use them in your Zoho Creator projects. Enjoy. In Zoho Creator, there's two different ways you can create parent-child relationships between records. One is using a lookup field, and the other is using subforms. In today's video, I'm going to go through how to use lookup fields and their pros and cons for managing an application. What I'm looking at here is a test application. It's a, it's a demo app, and it's based on task management. And let's say these tasks are linked to accounts. Well, I want to be able to pull a report or view these tasks as they relate to a specific account. Right now, there's no association between this task and an account. There's two ways to do it. There's one is using a lookup field, and that's what we're going to go through today. And then, like I said, there's another way to use uh, subforms. Now, the, the pro with using a lookup field versus a subform is whenever you use a lookup field, it's essentially looking up to a related record. You can imagine account is a separate record and I wanna be able to link tasks to that account. Accounts might be linked to other things as well. So if we were looking at an entity relationship diagram, we would see account at the top and then we'd have tasks. We might have hour logs. We could have other things such as billing or invoices. There's so many different things that you might want to link to an account. In that case, we would probably want to create account as a separate module so that we can link a bunch of things to it. And that's where the beauty of lookups come into place. When you add a lookup field to a child record, that is looking up to a parent record. So that means for a particular task in this case, this task is going to be associated to a parent record, which is the account. We could also create a parent task. We could have a lookup looking back to that same module, and then it's basically a, a parent task or a, essentially that. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. To create a lookup field, first you have to create that module. So I've gone ahead and created an account module, and it's simply just account name, status, phone, and address. And then we have our task. So our task is the task details, subject, notes, status, so on. And adding a lookup field creates that parent-child relationship. So whenever I add in a lookup field, I'm choosing from the application. And this is a really cool uh, feature. You can actually choose other applications. Maybe you have an employees module where you want to link uh, an employee record to this task. Um, you can choose from different apps in Zoho Creator. In this case, it's uh, still within the same app, so tasks, and the form is account, and I just want to pull in the account name. There's a few other options you have. You can display either as a drop-down field or a radio, and radio select is simply just all the items, all of the records listed out, and it basically have a little radio option next to that option to choose it. I stick with drop-downs because likely this list is going to become very long, uh, account name, we could have 100, 200 different accounts, and I would not want to list all those out as radio options. So drop down is going to work best. We could also link this to multiple. So if we wanted to do a multi-select lookup, we could also do that as well. In this case, tasks are only linked to one account, so I'm just going to choose the drop down single selection. Now that I've added it, this task can get linked to an account. There's a few other things we can do on the side here. Uh, we can set this as a mandatory field, of course. We can allow new entries, which if that account doesn't already exist, then I want to be able to uh, click to create a new account. We can also set filters. So I only want to see the accounts where status equals active. I don't want to see the inactive accounts. We can simply do filters in here as well. These filters can look at a bunch of different things. Uh, we can look at 
uh, fields inside of the record. We can also look at some system defined fields such as added time, added user, modified time, and so on. And if there were any other related records to this account, we could look at those as well. So I just want to look at the active accounts. And then the other thing we can do is what's called an advanced field search. I'll show you that in a second. Let's look at our app and see what we've done. So I'm going to come back in here, refresh, and I'm going to go to tasks and let's create a task. Now that I create a task, I can click my drop down, and you can see I don't have any accounts created, but because I selected the option to allow new entries, I can click add new and I can create my account. Now, if I set this as active, then it will show up in my list. If I set it as inactive, watch what happens. Whenever I add a task, that one won't show up here. It showed up there previously because I had created it through that option, but it won't show up here again in the future because it's an inactive account. I would need to come back into this account and set it as active for it to now list inside of this view. Test task, and let's set it as open. Give it a due date of Friday, no file, and submit. Now we have a task that's linked to an account, and I could create multiple different tasks linked to that account. Now you can kind of imagine we're building out this project and all these tasks are linked to that one account. If I go to the account, I want to be able to see all of those tasks as a related list. And because I created it as a lookup field on the task, those tasks exist as child records to this account. So I can create a related list on this account. And so to do that, I'm going to go into the report editor. Under the detail view, we can go to what's called a, uh, a detailed view, and then we can add a related block. Tasks is related to this form, so I can choose that as an option. And then I can pull in the fields that I want to display in this related list. So now whenever I click on this again, I can see all of these tasks that are linked to this account. Now these are not listed as a subform because if it was a subform, then I would see those tasks within the form itself. Instead, it's actually linked uh, as a related list. Each one of these records, they're their own record. It's uh, they have their separate ID. We can run workflows on them and we can do a bunch of different things with these child records. I can also create related tasks or related child records directly from the account. So if I'm on the account, I can click this little plus button to, next to the task. It's going to pre-populate the account name, and then I can just give it another task name. And now that's going to show up in this list. Other things we can do with related lists, we can actually set filters in here. So let's say this filter should only show tasks where status equals open. And so now what I would probably want to rename this is, is open tasks. All of these tasks are open right now, but let's say I come into one of these tasks and I close one of them out. Now, whenever I go back into the account, you can see one of those tasks is closed. Kind of the high level of using parent-child relationships with lookup fields. And in future video, I'll go over subforms. There's some cool things we can do with subforms as well, but it all starts with understanding the need for parent-child relationships and having multiple records linked to a single record. And to do that, you need a lookup field. Now that I've created that connection between my parent module and child module, I can actually view that in what's called a entity relationship diagram. And I can view that in under settings and then schema builder. We can see we have tasks and accounts and they link together. If I click this little edit icon, that'll take me to the editor and I can make edits from this as well. But as you build out this application and as you, as you link modules together using lookup fields, you can imagine this entity relationship diagram is going to get a lot more 
complicated or a lot more complex with a web of different modules that are linked together. So this is always a great place to look to see how records relate. And you'll kind of see the, the core or the crux of a given application. And like I mentioned earlier, you could have accounts here uh, where accounts also link to a task, but it could also link to an hour log or to an invoice, contacts, of course. And so there's a bunch of different things that could link to an account. And then maybe you also have hour logs linked to tasks. So maybe an hour log would link to a task and to an account. So there's a lot of different things you can do with lookup fields to get all these records relating to each other. And it's always best if you have a record that you want to have a standalone record of and you want to create related lists for, create it as a separate module and then create your lookup fields in those child modules to point them in the right direction. Alrighty, that's Lookup Fields and Zoho Creator. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments below. I hope you find this video useful. Have a good rest of your day.